it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Hi, Catherine. Okay, so this is Catherine's message and Catherine came via lovely Missy who's one of my students and amazing 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 light worker and channel and angel um well future teacher well she's a teacher now <laughs> okay great so thank you Missy for sending Catherine and hello Catherine so Catherine um you've just really asked for um a message from your loved ones angels and guides so not really a question and I did kind of tune in before I switched the camera on and they gave me two numbers actually and um, there's 17 and 18 from the little book and it's very interesting 17 is create and expand so you are being asked to get creative and I'm not going to use all the time just reading the messages because they're quite long and um, I want to get into other things and um, you know some psychic input and some cards as well but basically the message of create and expand is to get creative create something beautiful that makes you feel good on every level smile dance play um sorry smile dance play music walk journal run sing or write poetry the nature of god is creation so they're saying that on some level you've become a little bit um it's like you're focusing on wanting to connect or wanting to know more or wanting and something there's something um sort of sticking about that where they're saying when you are creative it opens your heart and then these connections flow more easily so there's something creative that you do and they want you to trust this um trust 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 the nature of God is creation, endless creation, expansion, renewal and self-rediscovery. So to connect with your divine essence, reach up and connect something new in the creative cosmos. So something new, um, whatever you do today, do with love, innovation and the spirit of playfulness, create and expand. There is something new that can only come from you that is very of a very creative nature and but the essential point of this message is they want you to get more playful again. They're saying she can do it, she was much more playful before. And um, they're giving me a period of six years, yes, where things have become a little bit serious. I don't know whether you've been doing some studying, but I've been hearing study. And they want you to play and create and be in the fun vibration, the high vibration again, so they can speak to you more easily because it doesn't matter how determined we are to hear them, connect with them, channel and all of these wonderful things. When we are not in the right vibration, it is difficult for us to hear them. So make it easy for them to get through by you know, giving yourself time to just get back into that free feeling. They're also saying, right, so we've got 18. They're saying, say how this relates to it. Okay, so 18 is synchronicity. And they are saying, they're giving you little messages all the time. You're seeing things. I don't know if you're seeing coins or feathers or there's something. You're getting messages. You're getting input that's guiding you along the way, that's encouraging you to, to this creativity. And they're saying... <laughs> Yeah, they're saying she sees things when she wants to see them, but sometimes when she wants to stay in that, not stubborn, but she wants to stay in that pattern that she's in, she she sees them, but she doesn't acknowledge them fully in terms of what we're trying to say to her. So they're trying to lead you to a creative path and to enjoying yourself and to self-expression, I've just heard, okay? So they're saying break out of the mould of what you think think is the right thing to do and feel your way through and notice the signs and synchronicities all around you because they are sending you signs and they want you to notice them. They're also saying notice, the message says notice your feelings with every second that passes and they're saying please notice how you feel, when you feel good, when you feel happy, when you feel uplifted, when you feel most inspired. So that would be the main message for you and I'm going to pick some cards from the Archangel deck by Doreen Virtue, which is 
anyone who's been sort of watching my messages for a while knows it's one of my favourites. I used to use these cards all the time for doing readings and festivals and things and I just love them and it just felt like the right vibration for you because I feel the angels are very much connecting with you at the moment. You are wanting to connect very much with them and um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just see what you get. So, past. Hello from heaven. Right, okay. Wow, yeah. I am feeling um, connections with you from people who have passed, but I'm not going to go into it here, okay? Um, but I do feel that there has been some kind of sadness or loss. And I feel like it's, there's been, over the past two to three years, there's been a very up and down period for you. And, um, and I feel a bit of sadness and a little bit of, you know, I'm trying to release this heavy weight from my heart. So, you know, I'm also feeling like there was someone around you who passed with a chest complaint because they're showing me the chest area. They're also showing me the stomach and saying there was something that affected the chest and the stomach. But I'm not going to get into mediumship here. It's not the right place. I am going to say to you, though, that there's a big hug and a big hello coming for you, okay? With a big bunch of red roses is what I'm seeing. So I'm just going to leave that with you. And I'm just going to, you know, we'll leave that there. Um, the card says... Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings, okay? They are fine. They are adjusting. You know, they are loving you as much as ever and around you as much as ever and also trying to come in with the angels and bring that encouragement for you. So, where you are at the present. So this is what's led you to where you are now, to this questioning and an awakening. Your awakening, your spiritual awakening has been triggered by some kind of loss, is what I'm feeling. Where are you now? Archangel Shamiel, our oh, beautiful, beloved one. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So this is also, it relates to everything on that vibration of where you're looking for something um, to be just the right thing for you, whether it's a relationship that you're already in or whether you're looking for just the right partner or whether you're looking for the right job or the perfect place to live or Archangel Shamuel is very much on that vibration but I feel with you at this time it's to do with helping you to heal your heart, okay? And bringing you into the right vibration for you to feel that comfort even in the solitude to know that you are never alone, okay? That's the way I heard it. Now, moving into the future. Prosperity, okay. So, Archangel Ariel, um, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So your focus is shifting in that direction at the moment, thinking about your long-term security, thinking about making some changes as well that will help you to feel more secure. And also I feel like you're thinking about how you can give back, which is great. And um, well, that's it basically, because you didn't ask a direct question, um, but they just want you to know those things are taken care of, okay? That's all. If you've got worries in these areas, these things are all taken care of. And I'm just feeling like I want to put a big heart. So there's a lot of love coming to you from spirit. And, you know, that's why these things are being taken care of for you, okay? Because there's someone there who wants you to know they're with you still. They haven't left you. They haven't forgotten you. You know, when you don't feel them around you, it doesn't mean they're not there, okay? Because I feel like you're aware of all of that. Right, I'm going to just pick one card from the secret language of colour and just see what we get. Take action. Okay, so you need to take, what does she need to take action on? Let's just see. Okay, take action in the area of career. So there's something that needs to change, I've just heard. And what sort of change are we looking at? the angel of guidance, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest, right? So you're another person who actually has questions about soul purpose and your direction. And um, even though you didn't ask about that, I am gonna say to you, 
take action um, in the direction of the impulses that you're being given, the little clues, the little signs that they're showing you. Try things out, okay? Yeah, there's a new season waiting to open up for you in that respect and there is a new direction coming for you as a result of everything that you've been through over the past two or three years. Just keep trusting and try things out. Take action, try things out, see what you like, see what really works for you. And let's just give you one more card from this one. Angel of the Universe, you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Remember we got expand, create and expand, create and expand, create and expand. Notice what you love, notice what really, really works for you, what really lights you up. And expand your thinking to accommodate an understanding that what you really, really love doing can be the thing that you're here to do overall, you know, ultimately. And trust that there may have been things in the past that didn't quite work out, that you've lost a little bit of trust recently, but you can certainly trust your good feelings. You know, when something feels really, really good, really, really right in your heart, in your soul and lifts you up to a higher plane, you can certainly trust that. OK, so let's just pick one more card from the secret language of colour. And that is awaken your empathy okay so I'm gonna say awaken your empathy for others but really awaken your sensitivity to notice when it is that you're being given guidance and notice when it is that something feels really good and really right for you and that's it and then follow that path and that's that's all I'm gonna say for some reason I feel like I feel like this turquoise is kind of swirling and, and sort of calling, you know, calling you in. So there is something, you know, turquoise can be very much about unique communication, a unique way of expressing ourselves. It's very much to do with, um, you know, communication, kind of not exactly the throat chakra, more the higher heart and the angelic centers. And I just feel you know, it's time for you to create um, and develop your unique vision of how things need to come onto the earth plane from spirit, inspiration, unique inspiration. That's how I'm going to sum it up. Right, that's it. I hope that helps you and take care and uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Comment, like, share something on the channel and um, yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. It's real, but when I'm with you, I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to.